Okay, I'm feeling really inspired to draw. Um, and I want to mess with shading and lighting. So, I'm going to try the only lesson I really know. Alright, um, make a new layer. And, uh, what am I going to use for this? Probably the curve tool. So, putting it on a different layer. So I only get like two, right? No? Oh, alright. Um, actually, I kind of like that. Just make this a bit shorter, maybe? Sure, that's an apple stem. Now, I'm going to put the lighting and for my own reference. Uh, oops. <laughs> um, how do I finish this? Finish, finish. How do I finish the line? Uh, I'll just deselect it like that. Okay. Now, for my own reference, I am going to actually make the lighting visual. So, can I, like, yeah, I can start the circle. So I'm going to put the lighting right there for my own. Uh... Let's. Uh... I don't want to make it just bright yellow. I want to make it kind of an orangey color. That looks good. I I don't know how this is going to look. I really. <laughs> uh, it's better than. I expected. Well, <laughs> uh, select background two. Now I could. <laughs> it's like an apple peach. A papple. My papple. Uh, anyways, let's not talk about my papple anymore. <laughs> anyways, uh. What now? Now for the shading. Mm. I'm going to try. All right, so I think this is how I'm going to do it. Oop, dang, nab it. Um, deselect. For some reason, deselect is not. I don't know. I'm new to this. Oh, I just have to select a different tool. Okay, okay. Um. So let's go with black, but make it transparent and put it on layer two. The only thing on layer two is that stem. Well, actually, this is on layer two, this is on layer two. Everything's good. I'm going to merge it with the bottom layer so that all of this is one thing now. Um, perhaps I shouldn't have done that. In fact, control plus Z computers are awesome. Um, yeah, let's just make a new layer on top of all of these. And I'm going to rename this one just so I know what it's called. Shaders. Make you bigger. And, uh, um, guess I'll do it with the paintbrush. So I have, Let's see, our max is 255, so 125, no, no, 175. And let's try that. Um, whoosh, that is not what I was looking for. Uh, I just want to, yeah, so it is transparent. I guess let's try 50, see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks nice. I just need a bigger brush. Guess 50. All right. Um, so the light is coming directly from the side. So. All right. Remember what you've been taught. Short. Ugh. Oh, that didn't work. Hmm. 
So basically, if I wanted to undo any of this, I could take the eraser and just go, just clean it up like this. Or at least I thought. What is this? Um. <laughs> uh. Is the the mm, what is going on? Anti aliasing disabled. No. Um, it's not disappearing. Anyways, um, I don't know. Um, let's try. Let's see, the rays are coming directly off here. So let's try something like this. And meaning it goes basically off into. So basically from here to, huh. So if I think about it, it goes from the sun directly to there. And something like that, I'm guessing. That actually looks somewhat interesting. And wow, just look at the little picture up here. It actually looks like it's kind of 3D imitating 3D. <laughs> That's kind of cool. All right. Um Okay, so what now? Ugh. The screen is kind of dirty. I'm always looking past all this dirt. Gee whiz. I should take a washcloth and just clean it up one day. Oh man, that'd probably feel really good. It's all gone. Anyways. <clears throat> I really haven't observed the world. Oh. Slightly brighter. Well, it's not reflecting or being absorbed by anything, so you won't really notice it. Um, I'm guessing like 10 opacity. Uh, let's uh, use the dropper tool to get this yellowish color. And then let's try it. Uh, Huh, that wasn't, for some reason it keeps picking up a white. For some reason, oh, no, put it back. <laughs> it may look ugly, but it's mine. Anyways, the reason why it's picking up a white color is because it's on the shaders layer, not the cut, not the where place it was. The sun wasn't on the shaders layer is what I'm trying to say. Okay, now let's remember to switch back over to the shaders layer. Uh-oh, that's kind of careless. Huh. Let's try taking that out and trying... Uh, Sure, um, cool. 
and then the surface of the uh, apple would be reflecting light so you get that little shine up there um i guess let's put it to 60 maybe make the uh brush much smaller and uh put it from here to here I am in no way a good artist, but yeah, it looks like I just put on the, uh, on the uh, thing. So yeah, um, I think it would reflect white light to be honest. So yeah, let's try it now. I guess, uh, on a new thought, let's try adding a new layer. And yeah, now it mixes with it. So layer four, let's call it shiny, I guess. Because shiny pictures are attractive. Anyways, um, and they're not really shiny. They're like giving off the imitation of shiny. Uh, you know what? Let's add a new layer just for reference. We'll call it uh, Sun Reference. That'll work. And we are going to use the Line tool And yeah, sun reference should go on top. All right. And we are going to, whoops. That's not quite right. Um, let's make it black. Gonna take, we don't need a big width. Let's just make it 10. That should be good, right? Uh, line caps. Interesting. All right, uh, let's make it five, I guess. There we go. All right. Now let's go back to our brush tool. Let's go back to the shaders layer and uh, pick up this color. It's pure black with a uh, 50 opacity. And let's take a brush, zoom in a little bit. Darn it. I, I would do a uh, small uh, short strokes, but they kind of do this and now I have to do it all over again. Huh, maybe the t trick uh, isn't to uh, go full detail, but rather Let's take the shaders layer, the eraser, bigger eraser, please. And of course I can't erase it for some reason. I'm erasing it slowly, but surely. I don't know why it's doing this though, though. Maybe the eraser has an opacity. The eraser has an opacity value. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, I do not know everything. Okay. A <laughs> giant hole in in the papal now. Okay. So take this back to fifty. I can't believe I erased my masterpiece. Okay, so I'm on the shaders level. Good. I uh, colored outside the lines. Oh, good. And then around... And then the rest. Now we just take the sun reference off. I'm not so sure that that's how it's supposed to look. Whee! Okay, let's go back. If this was a two-dimensional picture, then that would be its shadow, but there's something in third dimension about the third dimension I'm getting uh, I mean I mean is the sun like behind the apple and the shadows like behind us or are we looking at it you know strictly from this 2d perspective that the sun is to the left and it's shining directly onto the left side of the apple Huh. This versus this. Whoops. I mean this. I mean, whoops. <laughs> I mean this. Nah. Okay, so this is when I started erasing the previous shadow. So the thing I'm not getting is that a shadow is looks just like the object that, you know, it, it should look like the apple. And sometimes it's stretched. Hmm. So that, yeah, basically the shadow should be round. Huh. I'm not, sh I kind of know why I'm feeling inspired to draw. I mean, I've made a lot of drawing friends on DeviantArt. What to do? What to do? I guess make my shadow round. Make my shadow round. <sighs> I could move the sun anywhere. In fact, I, could, I can actually program that. I can program that you can click and drag the sun. And oh, I'm so happy. I really need to start making something. And maybe that's why I feel compelled to draw because I can make something. I can I can make something. Okay. So, now that I know that the eraser has an opacity value, let's just... Oh, 
Huh. Yeah, now it just kind of looks like it has a ghostly tail. But now, um, hmm. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Okay, I, I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea. <laughs> so let's turn this back to 50. And back to paintbrush. What if I trace? Oh, but the cursor leaves. And I accidentally double clicked. Try to trace it. And then we take the sun reference off. Then we go in with a smaller something brush or pencil. Let's go with 50. Turn the sun reference back on. Lo lower the brush width. Then go over here. And then take the sun reference off. I don't know how to uh, not have it do that. I'm, I'm just. I'm just going to go with it. <sighs> Whoops. Okay. So what part of this don't I like? I don't like how it doesn't stick out far enough. Because it looks like that if it's coming from that direction. It should be a really long shadow. Because that's more overhead. Because it's a short shadow, but... Alright, alright. Take the sun reference off. No. What if I trace this? Kind of like that. Huh. I'll just...
Sorry, I'm not talking much and probably need to get a new mouse. <laughs> I know. All right, all right, take off the sun reference for a moment, and then we just... <laughs> and then we just... And then we just... <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I could do a little bit better than that. All right. All right. Le there we go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, is that all? Uh, uh, am I done? <laughs> am I done? Yeah, I think I'm done. Uh, it was nice, Chase Curiosity. Uh.